All righty, so hey, we got a third harmonic. It's a standing wave right over here. These ladies, this is Crazy Daisy, and this is my wife, Jen. Um, they are three meters apart. You have a task to do. You have to find the period and the frequency. So before this dies out, or there we go again, you need to find the period and the frequency of this standing wave. The number of vibrations per second, or you can find the period first, how long it takes to make maybe 10 vibrations. Okay? And remember, they're three meters apart. So you're also going to find the wavelength. And then once you find the wavelength and you have the frequency, it's pretty easy to use the wave equation to find the speed of the wave for this one. This is called the third harmonic. We have three antinodes. Okay. Next, let's do the second harmonic, which is the two antinodes, which is the double humper. Oh, there we go. Keep it going. Not a, there we go. Okay, you don't have to go big. Don't go big. It's Double fast. Big. It's fast. It's not big. That's the tricky part. There you go. Oh, that's the triple. That's awesome. We just did that one. Now we're going to slow it down by about 50% and do the... There you go. You got it? Keep it going. That same vibration. Keep it going. There we go. There we go, Peyton. Keep all... Oh, okay, Daisy. Awesome. Okay, guys. Do the same thing. Go ahead and start now. Find the period of this wave going back and forth and the frequency. Remember, they are still three meters apart, and we have not changed the tension on this spring whatsoever. This is called the uh, node right here because you notice there's minimal displacement right there. Oh, my butt's not in the way. Okay. There you go, and that's the antinode. All right, I think you got enough data on that one. One more. Let's do the first harmonic, the slowest we can get a standing wave. And there it is, folks, right there. They are three meters apart. This is the called the fundamental frequency. This is the lowest frequency that which they can shake this and get what's called a standing wave. If they do any other speed than this right here, if they do any number of shakes, that will not sync up and it won't be any standing wave. It'll just look a little crazy. So go take some data. Find the period and frequency of this wave. They are three meters apart. And how much of a wave is this? It's a half of a wave. So find the wavelength and then calculate the speed of this wave and see how three, the speed of all three waves compare. Which is the fastest? Do you think it's the triple humper, the double humper, or the single humper? Which is this one big antinode here. <laughs> all righty. Good luck with that.